Hello, Kresimi here and this time we'll dive into the Nodeworks physics joints, how to set them up and how to use regular expressions to create joints with multiple objects. I'll also show you how you can change joint properties based on the distance from an object. We're going to create a swing door setup and this scene already contains two doors and two hinges. Before we import those objects into the Nodeworks, we must set up their pivot points and object positions like you would find in a real door with one difference. Our door setup will use just one hinge for each door. For the door, you will want the pivot point to be placed on the side of the door. So, we need to move the pivot points and place them at the side. And now, we want to align the hinge with the pivot point. Now the actual hinge joint will be created at the mid distance between door's pivot point and hinge's pivot point, so we'll have to move the hinge away a little bit from the door. Now we need to repeat all of this for the other door and other hinge of course. Now when we have set up our doors, we'll need to import them into the notebooks. First we will create a physics solver node that will be used within other physics nodes. We have one animated sphere that will be used to open doors and we can use physics static collision node for this sphere object. This node will not import sphere as particle but it will always reference the object in the scene. We need to set the type to kinematic which will allow physics to track object motion while the object motion won't be affected by collisions or external forces. We'll set its simulation group to zero and this sphere will collide with doors which we are going to assign simulation group 1 later. We will need two particle groups, one for doors and one for hinges. So I'm going to create those and assign different colors to each particle group. Now, once we're done with the particle group setup, we're going to create import shape node to import the door object, but we'll use the regular expression and it is enough to type door to import all the objects in the scene with the door word in their name. We're going to leave all those checkboxes checked as we want to object, object to inherit mesh. The newly created particle will become our physics actor so we need to create a physics object node. We will assign it a scene group 1 and it will collide with group 0 which is our sphere. The type will be set to dynamic and geometry to convex mesh. We will repeat the process to import hinges so create a new import shape node enable, enable regular expression and type in the hinge dot star. This will import all objects with the name that starts with hinge word. Now we need to go back and change the particle group for the hinges. So the particle go to the hinges group and doors will go to the doors particle group. We will assign it a physics sim group 1 and it will collide with group 0 which is sphere. The type will be set to static as we want hinges to be fixed in current position and we're going to set geometry to convex mesh. If we now play the animation you can see that the sphere hits the doors and they fly away with some spin which happens around all three axes. First let's limit this rotation and allow it to happen only around the z-axis which is of course something that you would expect, expect from a normal door to do. Now go back to the physics object for the door and lock rotation around X and Y axis. Now if we move the time slider, you can see the door are now rotating only around the Z axis. Now when we move the time slider, you can see that those doors are deflected in a really strange way. And that means that we need a little bit more simulation steps. So I'm going to increase it to 5. And now you can see that the collision is much, much better. The next step is to create spherical joints between doors and hinges. As you can see on this schematic representation, 
a spherical joint will keep the distance between two physics sectors but will allow, allow rotations. So let's create the get particle group node for the hinge particle group. Since we need to create those joints only once, we'll set the particle filter to new particles. Now for each hinge we need to find its door body and create a joint between those two. We'll use neighbors node that will search into the door's particle group. We can use and search for just one particle and when the pair is found we're going to create a new physics joint. First particle will be a hinge and the other will be the closest door particle. For the physics joint we can create a new joint group and name it J hinge, like a joint for a hinge, and use this joint group for the newly created joints. We're going to use that group of joints later. Now for the joint type we'll select spherical joints, but now let's play a little bit with this joint and see all the options that it offers. For start I will disable soft limit and increase the z-axis limit to 90 degrees. As you can see, this limit tells physics how wide these doors can open. Once they reach the limit, they will stay there. Same will happen if we set this angle to 60. When we enable the soft limit, physics will use a spring to pull back doors to their raised position once they exceed that limit. With swing doors, we will need to set the limit to zero as we want that spring to be active as soon as doors are pushed away from their resting position. The stiffness parameter will determine how strong this spring is going to be and the force that will push doors back to the initial position. By using the damping, you can reduce the swing amplitude with time just like mechanism of the swing doors would do. Now let's say that you want to add 10 more swing doors with the same functionality. How would you do that? You remember that we were using regular expressions and thanks to that we actually don't need to do much as the system will take care of everything. So let's create more doors and see what happens. Select those and just clone them along the x-axis. Now nothing yet happens so let's clear the NodeWorks memory cache. If we go back to the import shape node we can see now that it has automatically added new doors and the hinges of course. Neighbors node will automatically find hinge door pairs and create joints so everything is automated. Before we continue I'm going to do one change first. I will go back to the spherical joint and decrease the damping value so that the doors swing for a little bit longer. Now let's make it a little bit more complicated and say we want to change the joint properties for each door. Let's create a point helper near the first doors. This point helper will serve us to compute the distance between the joint and that point helper and we will use this distance to vary joint stiffness parameter. Within the NodeWorks create the physics get joint attribute and set group to J hinge. From joint position drag connection and create math node and choose subtract operator. From the input B drag connection and create object info node and pick the point helper object. Math node will now, will now compute a vector between each joint and point helper and we will need a length of, the, of that vector which is actually a distance between point helper and joint. We can get that distance if we simply use a cast operator that will output a length of the vector on the input. Since the distance, as you can see, ranges around 0 to 1000, I'm going to use remap node to bring this value into the 20 to 1000 range. Finally, we're going to use this result to change the joint stiffness value by using the physics set joint node. It's so much fun to play with the node based physics joints as you can basically vary any parameter based on all the objects in the scene. Now you can see 
how each swing door uses different spring stiffness. One small optimization tip. Now you see that this whole branch is executed on each frame and it will be sufficient that we apply this only once. We can do that but by animating the enable bu button or we can use the simulation info node and use the time with the compare node to enable this whole branch for the time frame we need it. Now that will be all for this lesson about the sp spherical physics joints. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.